Okay, I'm gonna teach y'all how to face swap in Unity, like VR avatars and such. I got a couple models with me right now. Um, we're gonna so we're gonna take the world's best model. Like every other model, uh, sucks compared to this one right here. This is Vel, uh, and we're going to put Rindo's body onto her because sadly Vel has like five outfits for her in the entirety of booth and I don't know how to make my own yet. Uh, to start out, honestly, because we're gonna be using Vel's face, nothing on her like other than her face really matters. So I'm just gonna grab and delete all of her clothing items. Uh, take the glasses out too. Hair, uh, for me personally, actually we'll keep the hair for this. Uh, all right, delete all that gone. Um, easy clap. So our first steps over. Okay, as you can see now we have this blank avatar. We're gonna go into our assets and we're gonna grab our secondary. Which would be the uh, body that we're actually going to use. So we're going to... I'm going to be using Rindo. We're just going to drag Rindo right into the hierarchy. Bam. All right. Notice how it's a complete jumble of absolutely nothing. Well, what we're going to do is something really silly. At least for this, because uh, I don't really care about having all these particles. They're gone. Uh, a lot of other things I don't care about is uh, basically everything that involves our outfits. So the getta, the skirt, the sode, the top. I don't know what half this crap is. No offense, I defense. Uh, the emojis can go because I don't really care. Underwear can go. And you can keep all this if you want to because it's just the base outfit. But for our intensive purposes, we're going to make it as simple as possible. Uh, the kimono, that can go. We don't need that. Unless you want to keep it. Uh, you can keep either one. It's just going to involve... This can involve moving bones with a lot of these avatars. You can just like choose to keep one or not. We're going to keep Vels for the sake of this video. Uh, delete this hair. Uh, we're gonna delete all of Rindo's hair. Actually, we should probably just hide this velvet right now so we can see what's going on. Set all of this down. Okay, now we have like an actual body. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, super simple. We're gonna grab the body of uh, Rindo, which her body is actually her head, and we're just gonna gone, delete it. Uh, we're gonna drop down these menus for later. We can bring back Vel now. Okay. So, here's Vel. What you're wanted, gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take all their blend shapes and set them all to like a normal because we're gonna be looking at some bones and you don't want to mess up. First things first, grab her body, delete. It's gone, unnecessary, who needs that? All right, now she's just a face. Uh, we're gonna take our hair bones, gone, unnecessary. We're also gonna take these, uh, we're actually not deleting these, uh, we're just gonna delete them from via, okay. So now we have just a floating head in the void. Notice how she has a chunk out of her face. That's pretty cool. All right, let's bring back in Rindo. Rindo's back. All right, now I bet you can tell what we're about to do here. Cool, I'm glad that you could tell. Okay, so we're gonna slide this down. Just kind of try and line it up. We'll like set it to form. Actually, it looks pretty good right there, not gonna lie. Let's slide it all the way back up. A lot of these avatars are gonna have this weird gap going on. We're just gonna raise up, uh, like watch it. Scroll down. Lots of these avatars, uh, especially the booth will have the close hole. You can just close right around that. Nice. She is. Some avatars are going to have this like weird like gap thing going on there that's not humanly possible. Uh, but who cares because it could be hidden by hair. And if it's not hidden by hair, then all well. Sucks to suck. Okay, point is we have the face attached to the body. Now if we export this right there, this would be horrendous. Do we use Vel's body? Or is it Vel's avatar descriptor? Or Rindo's? It actually doesn't matter. But for ease of access, we're actually going to use Vel, uh, Rindo's. Let's make something easy real quick. All right, so this is what we have right now in Rindo's body. I'm just gonna start deleting bones I won't need. Like, uh, for example, the tail, because we removed the tail. Tail, because we removed the tail. So like, we're gonna need that. Skirt root, we don't have a skirt anymore. Uh, is there anything going on in the legs? No, it doesn't look like that. I know there is something going on in the spine. Uh, the Miko bell, unnecessary. The Miko ribbon base, unnecessary. And the head air twin, the hair twin C. All right, now chest. Let's look down here. Sarah Ribbon, that can go. Sarah Ribbon, that can go. Sarah Ribbon, that can go. Down the shoulders, I know from experience that Rindo is going to have uh, a thing in the lower arm. The upper arm bell and the soda or soda. Those two are also not necessary. Uh, if you want to know how I'm lowering all these uh, things down extremely quickly and gain like 30 of them out here, just hold alt uh, while you're clicking down the arrow and it'll pop out a bunch. Uh, that was a bad example. All right, if I just click it normally, bam. If I click it while holding alt, bam. It brings out every single subsection below it. I think I grabbed everything. Oh, bell. All right. 
that should be basically everything on our that's needed to be moved uh we can click on our armor chair we forgot the hair okay so let's go to spine let's go to neck head we're gonna move our hair base uh, also her tang and her voice and her left eye and her right eye because those don't exist anymore okay cool now we can actually drop down our armature drop down our hips and look at all these bones that we're also not going to need for example upper leg is unnecessary however and this is a big one you want to be watching especially like let's take vel for example for other avatars it's different but generally for booth you're going to notice that as you're deleting bones for this main armature for the head it can affect and warp the polygon. So if we, for example, remove spine. Where did she go? Down there. Yup, we don't want to do that. So we're going to keep the spine bone. Always keep the spine bone. Always keep the hip bone. Upper leg. That is free to go. It has not affected any polygons. Can we remove the upper leg R? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. PP roots. I have no idea what that is. We're going to move that. Dog tail. We're gonna be using that, so we're gonna keep it. The butt root can go. And the other butt root can go. Belly can go. Let's drop down the spine. Belly at one can also go. Let's drop down the chest. Let's see if we can remove the chest. Bad idea, it killed her. Uh, we can't remove the chest. Breast root, gone. Breast root R, gone. Chest strap root, that's an outfit, that can go whenever. Shoulder L, gone. Shoulder R, gone. We're doing good so far. You want to keep neck. Collar strap, dead. This is looking pretty good so far. Not seeing any warpage. Usually what can happen sometimes is... Is that warpage right there? No, I think we're good. Okay. So what can happen sometimes is that the bone right here, or like the kind of this jawline area, it will uh, extrude out. And you'll notice it if you're watching, especially the outline will show it to you. Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay. So doggy root, those keep the uh, face options. We'll keep face fist bones. The glasses can go because we removed the glasses bones from earlier. The hair root, we're going to keep that because we're keeping the hair. Okay, cool. So it looks a little bit strange, but honestly, I haven't had any issues because if you like attach back all this hair, it hides tons of the imperfection. Who gives a crap? LOL, XD. Obviously, there's ways around it. But I don't care enough. You can size things down, size things up. Let me explain. Okay, so we're going to take the armature and all of its pieces, and we're just going to drag it right out, right? That's going to hang there for a second. You can rename that to something else if you want to, if you want to make sure that things aren't um, all gobbly gooked around. I don't really care. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, now back within the uh, head's main do hickey clicky mabop i don't remember what's called we're gonna take all of our accessories aka our face which is technically an accessory in my eyes now uh ear bone uh these are not bones these are the ears so we'll take the ears and all that that we turned off from before including our hair and including this anchor object so we're gonna take that we're gonna drag this all the way down into rindo we're just going to click it right into rindo's main group Button doohickey clicky, my guy. Bam. All right, now those are inside. Now, if we move Rindo, notice that it's not attached in the slightest. Well, why is that? It's because we haven't moved the bones over. The bones are key because the bones are what lock things into place. All right. Now, well, let's go back up to the armature that we ripped out, right? We're going to take the hip bone. We're going to drag it down into hip. Bam. Step one complete. All right, now we have our hip bone for Vel inside of our hip bone for Rindo. Let's expand out our hip bone. Dog tail. We're going to take the dog tail and move it up into hips. The main hips. The Rindo hips. We're going to go back into hips. Go down to spine. Go down into chest. Go down to neck. And now we have head. So now that we have this fully extended from Vel's, everything right here, this is all Vel. We're going to take our hips and drag them into Rindo's hips. We're going to grab the spine and drag that into spine. Bam. Then we're going to take chest and drag that into chest. You're going to grab the neck and drag it into Rindo's neck. You're going to take the head, drag it into head. Bam. Okay. Cool. 
Now this head is basically your king head bone. Notice how it's now sliding in with this, which means if everything's been done correctly. Yep, it's all attached. Really cool. Okay. Now everything's attached. Let's go over some things that we need to do uh, before we export this. Obviously, you can add back your accessories. For example, we put this back all on. Bam, nice. You can move things around if they're not up to snuff. Actually, it looks like it's in a pretty good location. This right here. Okay, it's all working out good. Let's quickly move the entire armature. Okay, this is all looking good. So, let's click her face. We've clicked her face. Okay, let's click into her main armature hierarchy, doodad, mabop. Notice how it says our transform for right eye and left eye has been deleted. That is because this is a basing it off of Rindo's original. So, let's fix that. If we go down to eyes, I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. I wonder if I can set this to a smooth scroll. No, I can't. Okay. All right. So, our transform for right eye has been deleted, and our transform for left eye has been deleted. So, let's scroll down to eye. Eyes. Notice how the left bone, we're going to click this. And we can just type I to find IL. I to find IR. Obviously, sometimes these bones will be named differently. Uh, go off of common sense if you have it. If you don't have it, sucks to suck. Your I tier L is definitely not what you're looking for. Okay. You can also see if it's correct by doing one of these. You can preview the individual movements of the eyes. Sometimes when it comes to a head swap, the eyes get a little bit silly and will start cross-eyeing when you're moving forwards. In order to fix that, we're just gonna lower these values. My good spot that I use for these values is three and negative three, respectively. So you're looking up will obviously have a negative and you can obviously check these out if you think they're just set weird. Okay, eye movements, honestly, that really doesn't matter. Um, the face mesh. For lip syncing, you're going to want to have your avatar speak when it speaks, aka it's going to want to move its mouth. We're going to click this little button here. And you can manually search it if you want to and find the uh, face mesh, or we could just click the face mesh. Note that it's the body. We're going to go back into here, find our face meshes, drag her face, aka body, into face mesh. Bam. It auto fills your visemes. If it's not auto filled, match the VRC underscores with the individuals. But it should auto fill. Our eyelids mesh is the exact same thing. We're going to drag body into eyelids mesh. Bam. Okay. Notice how we have some blend shape states we need to deal with. Our blink is going to be, when you click on it, it's just going to be VRC blink. For looking up, we're going to click on it again, looking up, and guess uh, it is definitely not that. That's for sure. We're going to go into VRC looking down for looking down. We'll return that back to normal. We'll scroll down a little bit. Okay, for our specials, sitting pose, default T pose, IK pose, that does not matter. Okay, now here's where some preference comes in. Personally, I like Vel's FX layers and all that more than Rindo's because I've removed every single one of Rindo's emojis and bones for a set emojis and animations. I also removed her voice thing. So we're going to take Vel's. It says our I things have been deleted. That doesn't matter anymore. If you still see that message, it sucks to suck. We're fine. We should be fine. I think we're fine. Okay. Let's scroll back down. All that set is right. Okay. So for our base locomotion, we can basically, this, this thing right here for the playable layers, our base is going to be this, our gesture is going to be that, our actions this, and FX that. If you want Rindo or whoever your body's layers are to be that, go for it, you know? You can just edit the effects layers. Me personally, Vel comes with her own lay down system and she can also change her eyebrows. Uh, and that's just comes base with Vel. And I prefer that because I'm using Vel's face. So we're going to take Vel's. So we're going to hop into Vel Littleton and just look at what we have here. We have Vel locomotion, Vel gesture, and Vel effects. Her action is actually default action, which is different than Rindo's. So we're just going to X this out, default action. Our base, we're just going to swap this to Vel locomotion, our gesture, the Vel gesture, and our FX, the Vel FX. Cool. All right, that's done. Um, now we have to go down here to menu and parameters, and we're just going to grab Vel's menu, and then Vel's parameters. Save your progress. You don't want it to crash. This should be done, but it's not yet. There's one last thing that makes people cry, mainly on Gumroad models. It's when they don't anchor override. What is anchor override? Let's click on the face, for example. We're going to use the body's anchor override. 
this bone right here called the anchor is basically huh it's the anchor override is basically where the lighting affects the entire object the same way because it's a bunch of different pieces interchanged together we don't want the face having a shadow on the left side while the body has a shadow on the right side so we're going to grab the face scroll down to where it says root bone we don't want that we want the anchor override it's set to auto anchor object transform we're actually technically you could just set this to anchor which is rindo's base anchor while um vel's anchor is auto anchor object but we're going to use anchor because i just realized now as recording this if i just slap an anchor bam nope that's dumb okay Auto anchor object transform. Cool, 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 cool. We're going to go to Rindo's body. Swap her anchor to auto anchor object with Vel because that's one less, uh, that's only one item I have to swap over versus like six. And I don't want to swap six over. Bam, I keep wanting to save. Okay, this works. This is done. You have successfully head swapped. One other thing you should do uh, before I do this, you're going to take your original avatar descriptor, blue blah, 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 and you can just delete that. Rindo, uh, this one's all you need. The uh, base armature bone, you can also slap that right into armature. Um, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, any questions, I guess put it in the comments or don't. If you don't have a question.